guys and gals, and we're here for Drake Wing Gaming. It's something man on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Wayfinder. So yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Alright. I hope none of them noticed, but I've heard Ark admission being able to sense something like this. As you should have guessed, he is looking at me with a worried expression. Bjorn is the first to speak up. Well, starting off... <clears throat> well, starting off, fighters are beings who can perform various feats. Seeing through glamour magic, sensing the intent and understanding the truth in others, beating their words or deeds. Now let me plug my phone in. There we go. Get in there, you little bitch. Okay. Alright. Being able to draw out the true desire from one's heart, they call this finding someone's path, are the most common of these. You've exhibited at least the first one. I think I understand a bit better, so I nod. Okay, so that's one down. How about you guys? What are you exactly? I don't know that I've... I don't know that I've ever heard of wolf giants before meeting you three. No one smiles and shrugs. Well, I'm not surprised. Generally, there aren't many... there aren't any around here. Around here? I don't know any werewolves around here either, but I, but I now but I now know they exist at least thanks to Arkin. In the most basic of definitions, a wolf giant is a wolven descendant of the great wolf and native to the Ironwood. The great who? Great wolf. He's a progenitor of our people, the one all wolf wolf giants worship. So like a wolf giant equivalent to God. Interesting. Wait, what is the Ironwood? Jeroff looks at me directly in the eye and smirks. It is a major part of the region where we are from in our realm. Realm? Like, the mortal realm? As in you guys aren't from here? This world? Yes, this is the realm of man, Midgard. Huh. We are from the realm of giants. Yep, Jotunheim. I realize now just how outside my scope all this is. I feel my heart racing again. My eyes cloud up and my mind moves a million miles a minute. Breathe in, slow. Hold it. Good. Is it true? Breathe out, slower. There are other realms. Glamour magic and wolf giants are one thing, but entire fucking other realms? Breathe in, but it hitches. Shit. I feel the panic setting as I slide down the wall, hugging my knees. This time I don't even need to question, question if he senses it. Arkin is already beside me, trying to calm me down and whispering in my ear. For real estate. No. No. No, no, no. I'm taking him. Mm. Oh, God. Wondrous coffee. It's alright, Finn. I know it's a lot to process, but you know we aren't here to hurt you. We need your help. You are here. You're, you're in absolute control. We aren't gonna do anything unless and until you want to do it. Just breathe slowly, Finn. That's it. Breathe in. Yes. Slow. That's it. Soft and slow. Just hold it in there. Hold it. Good. All right, bud. Breathe out. Soft and slow. Breathe out. Slower. I breathe as he shows me. It helps me so much more than he realizes. After a moment, I look up to him and smile softly. Thank you, Arkin. I think I'll be okay now. At least I hope so. I stand up. Arkin's still holding onto my arm. I look at the other two and finally decide I need to open my mind to the truths they have. Arkin moves away to join the others. All right, what the fuck is going on? What is it you th what is it you three need from me, and how can I help? A how can I help of all people? My shift in demeanor seems to catch the three off guard, and Gerald is the first to speak now. We have come from our realm because we need to um find a finder to help us steer the future of our villages and the Iron Wood as a whole onto the right path during the uncertain times ahead of us. It's a lot to take in, but I try to go try to go over it in my head. I process it and come up with a question. Okay, but why is a finder necessary for that? They look amongst themselves. I ask him the question. Why me? If you have finders in your realm, like Arkin said before. Still nothing. But I'm not having it. What are the uncertain times? No more vague answers. We need to replace the great chief who went missing about a year ago. The elders have been convening to address issues and make decisions, but they need someone to take over now that there is too much infighting, and they're falling fast from the people's favor. I see Gerald roll his eyes. Something's bothering him, but he doesn't mention it. He shakes his head and turns to me directly. 
We need a finder from outside our realm because the finders of the finders of our world may have an ulterior motive or hidden agenda. That's why we need you. Though the elders are known to leave such things up to fate, this matter is too urgent. Well, fuck. I don't think I know a damn thing about your world. How do you know I'd even be able to help? You, Finn. You, Finn? You'd absolutely be able to help us. You've got a good head on your shoulders, and being told off by you seems to knock some sense into people. I would know. He let out a small laugh, remembering his piles of payment leaves and the look on Tucker's face and I rebuked him the day before. You aren't hindered by glamour magic, and that means you'll be able to handle tricks from the pixies as well. I absorbed what he said and rubbed my temples gently. Pixies too? Do, do I need to ask if any mystical creatures of folklore are real, or should I just assume so? Just assume so. Just assume so. Just assume so. Got it. I shrugged and shake my head. I'm really in the thick of it now. Coffee time. Okay, I should have known, honestly. So, do you three have places to stay? How are you remaining here? We've used magic to find our own lodgings. I know you're not exactly in favor of such methods, but rest assured, it was only as well, it was our only option. We are here to vie for candidacy for the role of Great Chief. This is not the first time wolf giants have had to replace one, one who either disappeared or passed. The elders con the elders convened to determine which wolves, always male and from families of leaders of each village, are able to participate. All candidates come to a specific place on Midgard and hunt for a seeker. We three lucked out to have found you so quickly. Why only males? That's a bit backward. Most of us agree, but from what we know, it is uh, it is to honor our progenitor, so to speak. Since we three have found you, we're, uh, as of this morning, the confirmed candidates. You'll essentially help determine which one of us is most fit to lead our people as the Great Chief. The other two of us will, hopefully, still fulfill some role based upon your understanding of who we are and what goals of our own line up with that with what role you deem fitting. Oh, I see, so I just have to pick one of you three. Gerald scoffs. It is not that simple, lad. Did he just call me lad? Well, what more is there to it? You will have to come with us to where the elders are convened and make it through a trial. After finishing this, the elders will tell all of us what is next to be done. A trial? Like the judge and jury kind, or the kind where I have to com complete a task under certain circumstances? Jeroff looks at me quizzically and tilts his head. It's actually cute, and I, actually, and I have to kick myself mentally for smiling when he does it. I don't explain myself since Bjorn chimes in. I don't believe you'll be going on trial, just going through one. Then again, the elders are a bit unorthodox sometimes. We'll have to leave tomorrow evening to make it to our villages by morning, and we'll have to we'll have to travel to where the elders are convened after we arrive. I remember my mom's call earlier earlier in the day. Ah, one second. I can't miss going over to her place. Okay, well I have plans tomorrow for most of the day. I don't have classes on Monday, thankfully. So if I decide to go with you guys, as long as we can be back by Tuesday, I'll be set. <sighs> Ark and Bjorn and Jeroff don't don't seem to have any concerns with this, and they actually seem happy. Okay, yeah. I'll just pack an overnight bag tonight and bring it with me when I go over to my mom's tomorrow. This is fucking insane. Uh, Linus has an automatic feeder in a closet somewhere, and he has a fountain, a water fountain dish with a filter. What is happening by reality right now? I'll contact one of you when I'm ready, travel through realms for a day trip, and be back in time for psych class on Tuesday. As if it's that simple! Easy peasy. Thankfully, I managed to avoid another panic attack, and Arkin doesn't seem to notice my palms sweating. So, assuming I decide to go... How do we get there? An Einstein Rosen Bridge, of course. Arkin smiles wide, and, and I know I'm about to hear some shit. Well, since it's your first time, you'll have to sleep with one of us. Take it, y'all. <laughs> Jordan and Gerald smack their foreheads in unison. I feel the blush coming on. Am I being propositioned by three wolf giants? God damn, Arkin, you could at least ask me to dinner first. He means literally. We travel through magics in our sleep. Bjorn chuckles, and I look to see him rubbing his forearm anxiously with his other hand. The number of times I've seen a wolf giant blush can now likely be counted on more than two hands. You should, um... Oh, okay. Whoa, hey now. You should, um, get more time with whoever you decide to go with. I mean, you know, to form a stronger bond. That way you won't get, um, lost. Excuse me? Did he just say... Lost? Oh 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's not likely to happen at all, as the three of us are very proficient in magic, but when traveling through realms, one can get lost in a dream in a dream in a dream realm. <laughs> Unless that person is strong enough with magic to leave on their own, the only other way out is being pulled. Otherwise one could be lost there for eternity. Nope. Fuck nope. These wolf giants are gonna get me erased from existence. I'm not so sure this is a good idea anymore. I feel my stomach drop and I again drop down to hold my knees. This time Arkin stays where he is, but it's only a second or so before he, before the feeling passes, I stumble back up to a shag position. <laughs> we travel through the divide between realms in our sleep. Then there is a negligible, there is negligible room for error, save for weak magic users and those who, unlike us, have not done this before. I do hope that makes you feel better. I tilt my head, showing indifference. However, know that after you decide which of us you'd prefer to travel with, if you still feel uncertain about moving between our worlds, you can have that person hold on to you as you sleep. That way, there is absolutely no chance you will end up anywhere alone. I look at him with confusion plain on my face. Jolf explains a bit more. We take whatever it is with us when we go. Our intent is enough to carry another person, but physically holding a person is a guarantee. What he says is reassuring, but I still feel a bit, still feel a bit scared. However, I realize something important and speak up. Well, I probably won't be able to make any time to hang out tomorrow before we're set to go, so since I, you know, have a seriously important thing to do tomorrow. I can hang out with one of you later to, later on tonight, though I'd rather we all hang together if possible. I still don't know who I'd rather go with, if I'm even going. Plus, I might need to spend more time with all of you, or all three of you, anyway, so I can gauge what you're all about. Jeff looks at Bjorn, and I see Arkin staring off with an expression of either sadness or worry. Honestly, that is probably not for the best. It may be just a bit awkward like it is now. Better for you to just pick one of us. Is it awkward? I hadn't noticed. I wonder what's going on here that I can't see. All three of them look fine for the most part. They all got nervous when Arkin mentioned sleeping with one of them, though. Maybe I could try to use my finder power to find what they're feeling. I couldn't. It feels like I'd be manipulating them. I wonder if there'll be hard feelings between the two I don't pick and one I do. There you go. Coffee time. Oh well, can't help them all. But looking at the figure and the size of the three, I almost wish I could. What did I... What did I stop thinking they were... What did I stop thinking they were cute and start thinking they were actually... Never mind. Okay, well, when I make my decision, how will I let you three know? <coughs> oh, that's me. Do you guys have cell phones? Oh, we usually just use our HAL, but we can use magic to communicate as well. <sniffs> oh, really? What can these what can't these guys do? I never thought wolf giants were real, but if I but if I had, I definitely would not have pegged them as being good at magic of all things. I wonder if they can teach me any Well, can I use magic? Can you guys teach me? They look they look at each, they look at one another nervously, with Arkin walking up to me and patting me on the shoulder. Before he can shoot me down, Jeralf chimes in. Have strange things happened to you lately, aside from meeting three wolf giants? The three of them chuckle. Um, there are a few things, aside from just using my finder power to uh, find a book on a shelf and making it fall, which I really need to read in return. I also managed to find your voices in the howl last night just by thinking of you guys. Well, those don't necessarily seem unnatural for a finder, although I never saw what caused that bookshelf to fall behind you. To fall, mind you. It could have been you developing more powers somehow. Like telekinesis? Am I turning into a superhero? Anything but that. Hmm? Did you say something? Uh, oh, no. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm gonna give a quick shout-out to our, to our lovely Bronze Tier patrons. Thank y'all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our Silver Tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. And thank you to our Gold Tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to our channel. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the uh, names in the credits, get access to our Not Safe for Work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye